Hi, my name is Dorothy Mackay. I am a stroke survivor, have been for 10 years. I had a, uh, a hemorrhage of the brain and uh, I was in hospital for two, I was gonna say years, but I mean months, um, learning how to do everything regarding dressing myself and learning how to walk and do stairs before I was able to return home. At that point, I continued as an outpatient uh, with physiotherapy um, meetings and also occupational therapy. Uh, that lasted for about three months. And then I uh, decided I would join the, the North Shore Stroke Recovery group and uh, it has been uh, um, an excellent an excellent thing for me and even now during COVID-19 I'm able to connect with them online with Zoom meetings and also do exercise. <music>I have always been interested in art of one sort or another. I have done a lot of um, <clears throat> of art, I guess you would call needlework, um, crocheting and knitting and all that sort of thing, but also art. Uh, when it comes to painting, I have always been interested in landscapes. But at art therapy at the North Shore Stroke Club, um, I have tried different things and um, I will show you some of these. So this one here, I did rather quickly, but uh, I rather like it. And And this piece here is, um, I'll put it down so it won't shake. Um, it was done to listening to a piece of music and just kind of continually uh, going back and forth and up and down on the, in, um, in, in the confines you know, of the page. And that was rather fun to do. Okay, this one here uh, was um, a grouping of a watering can and red uh, gumboots, I guess you would call them. And inside the gumboot was a uh, bunch of daffodils, but I elected to do the daffodil blossoms with yellow crepe paper. This one here is uh, just a still life of uh, an orange and an apple. Very simple. And this one was a drawing just using a black permanent marker. So there is a variety of, of my art samples of art and on the table here I have a couple of things too that this was done in art therapy and it's a, um, a white tissue paper uh, paper mache and enclosed in one layer were bits of greenery and red so I bring that out at Christmas time and I put a candle in it to, to light it up. Um, oh, this piece here was one that is actually being uh, put into a Art After Stroke for their uh, silent auction. And that one was done soon after I recovered from my stroke. My hand is not as, uh, as steady now to do things like that.
and I, I dry flowers. I used to do a lot of dried flower uh, arrangements and go into craft fairs and such, but I still do a little bit. And um, my advice to anybody uh, recovering from a stroke is if certainly join a stroke group and I would say that that uh, dabbling in art, whether you think you're artistic or not, um, is beneficial. So I think uh, for now, that is about all I can tell you. Goodbye.